Dakota Essays Social Enterprise, the plugin, supported by Office for Aging Well and Wellbeing SA, has been researching with older South Australians about how they maintain their well-being whilst experiencing major change events and build resilience to cope through difficult times. We spoke with older South Australians from across metropolitan Adelaide and regional areas about their experiences of environmental events such as bushfires and floods, economic and business changes, technological shifts and social transitions through COVID-19. Any of those sorts of things that happen affects everybody in the community. But I think people just pull together and get through it. My name is Julia and I volunteer for the Strath Neighbourhood Centre, which is where we are today. And I've lived in Strath Alban for 40 years. It is a great place to live. We've got a good, strong community here. We asked, what helps you during these times? What makes a person resilient? What do communities need in order to adjust and adapt? There was a wealth of knowledge that was shared with us, but some ideas were common across all our conversations. Social connections are key. When we asked older people how they coped through major change events, they told us of the family members, friends and neighbours that they turned to during those times. I know a lot of the people who are involved with the church and I find that they are a good go-to, but mostly I rely on my children. Another important way that people coped during major changes was keeping busy. They kept a healthy routine and had a purpose or goal to work towards. This might have been through hobbies, volunteering work, exercise, gardening, or even everyday chores. Taking care of physical health and staying active made it easier for older people to cope through major changes. I feel myself that having a good support group around you, having friends, talking to people, brings you a level of peace and resilience just because you are more comfortable with your surroundings and your life. Many people told us of an inner strength that helps them overcome challenges, a positivity and a willingness to keep trying and keep going. But equally as important, being willing to ask for help. I think people make people resilient. Community representatives also told us about the need for reliable services close at hand. Our main worry for people getting old is transport. And as you get older, the, the day looms when you're gonna have your license taken away. And it is terrifying because you know you can't go to the shops, you can't go anywhere because you can't live without a car in a small town. Health services for physical and mental health care, vibrant businesses to help keep families together and attract people to live in the regions and social and emergency services to provide emergency assistance as well as clear communication on what to do during an event and what help is available. We would like to say thank you to all the people we spoke to during this project, those who promoted it to their communities and to Office for Aging Well and Wellbeing SA for their generous support of the plugin, Kota SA and older South Australians. If you'd like to learn more about this project or the work that we do at The Plugin, visit our website, theplugin.com.au.